Welcome back. You can see a vantage point from uh, Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. This is a vantage point that no one else is going to be able to show you right now as rescue crews are trying to find a car. And the person or people that were inside as it launched over the side of the Combs Hill Bridge, you can see the accident seen there on top of the bridge. The rescue crews also focused in the water below the Ohio River. Fast moving right now, and several crews are in the water right now. And we should say the eastbound lane is completely closed for the, over the Combs Hill Bridge heading towards Kellogg Avenue back into Ohio. Becky Stratton is joining us on the phone. Becky, as we understand it, you were an eyewitness to this happening, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Can you tell us where you were and what you heard or what you saw? Sure. So I was on my way home from work, and I was coming across the bridge. I was heading north, and um, it's that, the, I'm sorry, there was an there was an accident. There was an accident right near the the um, Kellogg Avenue exit. So it had backed up traffic, and I almost ended up rear-ending somebody because of that. And then just. I looked in my rearview mirror and I just saw this semi truck just careening towards me. And I saw him take out several cars in his path. And I was just praying to God that he didn't go over the side of the bridge or another car didn't go over the side of the bridge. But he ended up, I just saw metal. I saw things flying in the air. I saw smoke. And then I stopped for a brief second to see, I mean, I question whether or not I should have gotten out of the car to help, but there were so many people stopped on the bridge, and then I just saw a bunch of men running towards the accident. I just decided to make my way home, but I was very lucky not to be involved in that because it happened about two cars behind me. Becky, that had to be horrifying. And let me just make doubly clear we are, we're understanding. You were heading basically from Kentucky back into Ohio, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and then there was some sort of fender bender right on right as you got off the bridge to get off at Kellogg Avenue, and so everyone was stopping short because of that accident. And then yes. this happened right behind. Yes, it was a, it was a some type of work van and a and a passenger car had collided. They had rear ended right there at the exit, and it had stopped all the traffic, and everybody was slamming their brakes on, me included. I almost hit someone. Luckily, I did not. And then. I just happened to hear all that carnage behind me, and I just saw him at my rearview mirror just coming closer and closer and closer, and I was praying that I wasn't in his path. And he swerved over to the right, right side and hit the, hit the side of the bridge, and I saw a car spinning, and I saw a car just, I don't want to say go up in the air, but it was up underneath him, and I just saw metal, and I smelled rubber, and it was just horrifying. And I, I, I mean, do you know what kind of, I mean, I know it was in your rearview mirror and it all happened so fast. Any idea what type of vehicle we're talking about? A sedan, an SUV, anything? I, I don't. I don't remember any, I mean, like you said, it happened so fast and I, I think I was in a state of shock. I didn't really see what kind of cars that were involved. So, and Becky, this is Craig McKee uh, here on uh, Channel 9. Uh, so, as I'm listening to you, you're describing there was an accident, but then this is a secondary accident involved in this whole scene? Yes. Okay. And so that initial accident, was that off to the left-hand side? It was in the center lane, and it was some type of work van, and he had, um, he had front bumper damage. He had his bumper was completely off of his car, and it was dragging, and he was trying to get out of the center lane and get over to the right. Uh -huh. And the car that hit him from behind was trying to do the same thing. And I was stuck in that center lane trying to get around him. And that's when I looked back and I had seen that semi just coming towards me. All right, Becky Stratton, we cannot thank you enough for spending a few minutes with us. Um, thank you again. We will let you go at this moment. Hope maybe reaching back out to you at some point. But thank you for all of your insight on this. It really has helped us understand what has happened here a little bit better.